Small earthquakes are regular occurrences in South Carolina. Emergency management officials say that our state experiences about 10 to 20 minor quakes every year. Experts say South Carolina has more seismic activity than most states along the East Coast. Almost all quakes here register below 2.5 and they're too small to be felt. But back in February of 2014, an earthquake centered near Edgefield measured 4.1 on the Richter scale. It could be felt all across South Carolina, as well as in parts of Georgia and Western North Carolina. Two days later, there was another smaller quake in Edgefield County. Earthquakes happen throughout the state, but most occur near the coast. Approximately 70% of earthquakes are in the coastal plain with most happening in the low country around Somerville and Bowman. Back in 1886, Charleston was hit by a catastrophic earthquake. It had a magnitude of 7.3 and was felt as far away as Cuba and New York. At least 60 people were killed and thousands of buildings were damaged. Structural damage extended hundreds of miles to cities in Alabama, Ohio, and Kentucky. Geologists say that Charleston lies in one of the most seismically active areas in the eastern U.S. Now this image shows fault lines that have been mapped or estimated by geologists. While these cracks under the Earth's surface could lead to earthquakes, there are other causes as well. According to the Emergency Management Division, small quakes may occur near dams from water pressure and near the mountains. So far this year, there have been two earthquakes in South Carolina, one of them in the Midlands. Back in January, a quake was reported near Jenkinsville. It registered 2.5 on the Richter scale and was centered at the Monticello Reservoir, just north of the VC Summer Nuclear Station.